yama dharma please understand this word the flow of life belongs to consciousness law of life belongs to matter thou shall not freeze your life by mistaking yama into dharma you need to understand what is the matter component of you what is living component of you for matter components good to have dharma law of life but conscious components always have yama flow of life flow of life brings beauty to you grace to you joy to you shiva in you is flow of life one more important commandment to all human beings especially for hindus thou shall not feel bored thou shall not be tired the conscious part of you which need to be dealt with the yama flow of life is being dealt with the law of life dharma like in gurukul we are not taught just just by opening our eyes we can read we are even that by closing our eyes we can read so what i feel is it like either you come to gurukul or attend the seven day varanasi shivoham process so at that time swami ji teaches us to not you can like to move from the law of life to the flow of life my mom used to tell don't go out and play in rain because you'll catch cold and you'll get wheezing so i used to be always in that cognition and whenever even if i come and whenever i used to come back from my school and if it rains i immediately get, i used to get wheezing and i used to uh, get cold and all but after coming to gurukul they uh, they told me that it's just a conditioning and there is nothing like when you play in rain you catch cold and all it's just a societal conditioning and i just changed my cognition and after that so many times i played in rain but i didn't ca- i didn't catch cold nor did i get wheezing after playing in that so this is what i understand is the difference between law of life and flow of life law of life didn't lead me to the completion it just might have given me temporary happiness but flow of life led me to completion and varanasi i came to varanasi with a great uh, miracle only when i uh, when i listen arnagiri yogi sura swami ji satsang it was so nice that made me to come for varanasi ie then immediately i applied for varanasi then i i never thought my husband will come in uh, dial of the swami ji said let bring your husband also he was not convinced when swami ji blessed and he also accepted to come for varanasi then he also came to varanasi we both of them actually is very beautiful very nice every day is joyful and enjoyable and with swami ji as as if we are sitting everybody and taking a coffee we are all with swami ji is around it uh, we cannot express we must come and experience varanasi experience in in this ia in completion process i did with i completed with everybody when i saw when i was sharing with everybody i thought oh yo mine is nothing everybody is having so much then it all my thoughts and worries got liquidated this is why i experienced very nicely and still is going on i'm just eagerly waiting what is going to happen another 10 days till next Pushpa Vidhi Sinaya from Singapore I'm a senior midwife uh, handling newborn babies in my uh, Singapore hospital which is the largest in Sing- uh, Southeast Asia and um, been in line for 40 years I had knee replacement in uh, 19 uh, 2007 and a uh, doctor told me that I won't be uh, uh, I won't be able to sit on the floor whatsoever but I only can squat squat also not that comfortably so um, I was having a lot of pain even I even I in, during my sleep I will just sleep on supine position no turning right or left or whatsoever I asked Swami ji that my knee uh, should be knee I should sit on the floor and do meditation and all that yeah I received it I think about 10 o'clock in the night and 10:30 when I was in my room 
I was able to sit on the floor and I started crying and I cried to Swamiji telling him that this is a miracle because after this operation I was not able to sit on the floor at all. After nine years of uh, not sitting on the floor and now I'm able to sit on the floor. I feel so happy, it's every day is a miracle for me. Uh, I always talk to Swamiji at home I have his photograph and I talk to him and whatever it is he always answers my prayers. Swamiji is a saviour to me I should say because I used to pray to God Lord Shiva uh, goddess Mariamma and uh, Mahalishmi and all that but after knowing Swamiji he's my guru and um, I worshipped him that's why I'm here for the second eye